welcome to another studio vlog. It is Wednesday today. Um, I've had my hair done. It's a bit, a bit blonde. And today I need to get on with Etsy orders, Etsy messages, admin stuff, um, and general bits and bobs before I can start designing a new sweater. I've been thinking of doing like a Valentine's slash love, self-love, self-care sweater. And I'm thinking of doing it like pink or red with a an off pink or red like embroidery here not sure what the design will be and also like a little heart on the sleeve so it'd be like you're wearing your heart on your sleeve sort of thing um but i need to get on with things first before i can start that and i also need to design a new pin a pin manufacturer has kindly reached out to me to collaborate and i need to design a new pin so let's get on with the week That wind literally came from nowhere. It was like my house was about to take off. So I've turned the studio upside down and emptied it and sort of got rid of everything. Pause, I've kindly been gifted a new monitor. And I have recently bought a laptop because my beloved iMac is running really, really slow lately. It's so sluggish, I can barely get anything done on it. Um, I've cleaned it out, I've updated it, I don't know what, why it's so slow, but I've been using a laptop, but I don't think it's very practical for day-to-day -day use, uh, you know, like eight plus hours a day on the computer, so I bought a laptop stand, however, I have now kindly been gifted a monitor from BenQ, and it's still in the box, and I thought I will clear out my studio today, and set up the new monitor and compare it to how my Mac looks because I'm quite fussy with the screens and the resolution. And I think as a graphic designer and illustrator, and if you if you do digital work, we notice pixels and colors. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to testing that out, but I thought rather than just set it up, I would like to deep clean the studio just because a clean space, an organized space is, helps with an organized mind. I think that's the saying. Everything is so dusty, oh my god. Wonder, oh Mochi, you're moving the table. I wonder if I can put this lamp in the corner by there because it's quite dark this time of year. I wonder if that would look good. sure what the point is um I'm, i thought it'd be a bit taller than that um but i can just move it if it doesn't work So this is our setup at the moment. I just need to add my laptop and connect them together. Bought a little laptop stand from Amazon. So let's see how it looks. I think it looks pretty good. Just shows how big that screen is. And it's on. 
I have the three displays next to each other just because I want to compare this photo with the same photo on my Mac screen. I can't believe how small my Mac looks in comparison. This may mean the end of my iMac, which I'm quite sad about. I don't know if I'm going to get used to the large screen yet because it's huge. Like, it doesn't look that big there, but in real life it's just a bit, whoa. Um, yeah, I'll be really sad about my iMac, even though it's dying, it's going to take forever to turn on right now. Um, and that's the reason I bought the laptop in the first place was to sort of replace the iMac. It's just been with me for a really long time. But let's compare the photos to see how good this BenQ screen is. I mean, so far, so good. The colours look amazing. What I will say is already you can notice the two Mac screens are a lot, lot brighter than the BenQ screen. Um, and they've all got the exact same thing going on. So I've just downloaded some software called Display Pilot, which is from the BenQ website. And I think the displays look a lot more similar now. You can adjust things like the brightness um, here and the contrast, which makes a big difference. See how I've noticed my laptop is actually different to my Mac as well. So, and this is the display called MBook, and they also have one called CADCAM, which I quite like. But yeah, I think I've figured it out. I think I'm also sad that this actually makes my iMac redundant. I think I'm gonna need a few days to get used to it. I love, I love how big it is, but I'll give this a few days. I'm gonna give it a go. There's no reason why I shouldn't. Um, I'm gonna put my studio back together um, and make it all nice and cozy. I don't know whether I'm just an idiot, but so my iMac isn't actually connected to any of these. Those two are connected. This is by itself, just so I could compare it. And look, so the mouse somehow is going all the way, oh, all the way across. How? I don't know what I've done. My mind is blown. I'm definitely not gonna be using three screens, but cool. So it is a new day and I've just got a bunch more sweaters picked up from the embroidery shop around about 27. So I'm hoping that I can get most of the pre-orders out today. This is the current um, worktop space. I love the screen. I've been working with it for a few days now and I don't miss my Mac at all. I like having two screens. I love the colors. It's all set up perfectly. But the studio is still a mess everywhere, as you can see. There. I mean, it doesn't look bad on camera. It's just, uh, it annoys me because it's such a small room. I mean, look at this. Like, this is my market prep, all the stuff for my Christmas markets. And because it's such a small space, although, I mean, it's not that small. It could be smaller. Um, and I have mochi by my feet constantly. Um, I just like a, it to be like very clean. Um, so I might clean up before packing orders.
it's everywhere. And for me, it's very important to have all my notes and all my to-do lists in the same area or the same place because when I have notes, I just want to quickly chat about this gift set that's available in the shop. So it comes with the small business sweater in sage green and also comes with an A4 desk pad, which I think is perfect for small businesses. It has all these little days of the weeks. Um, next week, important to buy a little habit tracker. I've been putting down my dog walks and my water intake by here and then a general to-do list and the date and also a matching to-do list which always comes in handy and i think it's just a nice set as a gift for a small business whether that's you or your friend um yeah i'm really chuffed with it i find it so awkward like selling my things even though that is my job and i am a business and that's what i should be doing but it's hard like I've made this stuff and I'm proud of it and I love it but it's hard like selling yourself I'm currently getting ready oh my god I'm so tired for Swansea Market um which is today I'm just doing my hair my voice is croaky I'm so tired it's just this market which is today and tomorrow and then um Newport Market which is the last one of the season and I can't I'm enjoying them but I can't wait for them to be over so I can enjoy my weekends finally Am I running to the embroidery shop in my pajamas? Um, yes. Do I care? Sort of, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so I haven't updated you in a while. I've been doing so many Christmas markets. I have one more left this weekend in Newport. It is the last market of the season. And whilst I've enjoyed doing them, um, oh my gosh, it's been so exhausting. I I didn't realise how tiring this would be mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, but I've done it. I've almost finished. I have one more left to do. Thankfully, I don't have to make much more stock for this one. I think it's just a, some earrings. And I didn't think the earrings would sell. They're not in my shop yet. Um, but I have to make more. I have to make more dinosaur ones, more Christmas tree ones and more peachy ones. Um, so it's great that they've sold well and maybe there's something that I can bring to the shop um, next year. I've also been working on uh, new sweater designs, um, which I'll show you in a bit. I want to put up little fairy lights back there. Um, I'm just starting to, I want to start to wind down now for Christmas, which has been harder this year than most because, well, one, because of all the Christmas fairs that I'm doing. Two, because of all the strikes that has ha added a lot more stress to everything. Yes, it's been tough. I've had a lot of customers not knowing the situation and I feel like every small business owner knows the situation with the strikes, but it's not necessarily being... I know, Mochi. It's not necessarily being 
like broadcast on the news as much. Um, but the issue is there's ongoing Royal Mail strikes. You've heard me talk about them in previous vlogs because they've been going on since like October. And obviously it's the busiest, the busiest time of year. This little guy always wants attention. Mm -hmm. So you can just imagine how backdated and backlogged everything is at the moment. So yeah, it's quite hard speaking to some customers that don't know the situation, but I've tried my best to explain everything everywhere. I'm not, a lot of businesses are closing early this year. Um, I never close my shop anyway. I've, I've always posted um, last Christmas dates, but I've always kept the shop open and just extended my processing times because I really can't afford to just close. I wish. Um, but I'm going to keep the shop open. I'm not closing. I'm not closing earlier. I just explained everywhere that I can that there are no... I just tried to explain everywhere that there are no guaranteed delivery dates now for Christmas. Like, I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> Mochi, what are you doing? That, that situation, I can't guarantee anything. There's been things that I sent, just casually getting nibbled, there's been things that I sent the end of November that only turned up this week and it is the 8th of December right now. So things are taking like a week or two and I've been sending everything tracked. Um, so tracked 48 or tracked 24. I've also heard from actual postal workers that they're completely ignoring letters. They've been told to ignore letters, which is the thing that I send the most because obviously my things are all art prints and stickers and quite thin. Um, only the thicker things like planners and notebooks and things I can send in large letters and packages and they're all being prioritised but letters, letters are not. So things like greeting cards, you know Christmas cards have just been left but it's the situation, we can't do anything about it. We can just hope that Royal Mail actually give the postal workers what they deserve. So yeah, that's the situation. This guy. This guy. <laughs> so yeah, that is the situation. I've also had a box of these gone missing in the post. Um, I asked for a tracking number. They were meant to send it to me. They didn't, so I asked again. And they said, oh, they must have got lost. So here's your refund. And now the size is out of stock. So I'm just waiting on like four 2XLs to come back for pre-orders. So I've had to email those customers and say, uh, let's just explain what's happened. Luckily, like most of my customers are so lovely and understanding and they know what's going on. And I think if you keep everyone updated, then everything should be okay. But it's just frustrating because obviously I worry that I'm going to lose customers and lose sales and not, and not like be able to pay for things. And it's just, you know, it's always a scary time. But the plan for today is get more orders done, ignore my nails, I'm getting them done tomorrow, put my fairy lights up. And then eventually, once I've sorted out all the pre-orders, I need to put the rest of the sweater stock on my website so that people can actually buy them. They won't be pre-orders. They're there, ready to go. Um, but they probably won't arrive in time for Christmas now. Yeah, let's get on with the day.
have is pretty much the opening my shop will be more of a of a statement piece or something special that we want to keep. Um, Sometimes he invites me to the models and their clothes for our second. Come to the studio, it's Tuesday, my here in front of second. A couple of weeks ago, I went and I did a photo shoot with a... It was my since I reopened my shop. I Mochi's just had his food and I bet he's going to come in the door and say thank you. <laughs> was that nice? Yeah. Every time, without fail, after giving him food, he always comes to say thank you. You were such a good boy. Was he nice? Yeah. So, I am currently working on November's Patreon box. I'm so very behind on this one. Um, just because I've been so busy and uh, I don't know why I speak so quietly I think it's because it looks so cozy and quiet in here um but I was thinking um I'll show you what my plans are so basically this was the print for the October box um like an autumn festive pumpkin spice drink and I was thinking of doing a winter version so maybe it's like a hot chocolate or a gingerbread latte whatever festive drink you prefer and it says the most wonderful time of the year and it's just to match the one that I did in October and I think it's more of like a wintry colour palette you know cool blues and purples um so I think this must be this is going to be a print and I might do a sticker as well but yes I am quite behind on these boxes this month I need them to go out by what's the day today I think it's Thursday it's Thursday and I want them to go out by tomorrow and I have about 45 to do. Um, so let's get started.
good morning it is what it is monday today um losing track of the days as always uh just because it's come winding down to christmas and it's been so busy um i just done my last market of the season i am i'm so glad they're all done like there's been there's been good ones and bad ones um well not really bad um but better ones than others and the last one I did, I was so ready to just come home. It was, it's so exhausting, but so lovely meeting people in person and like selling face to face. It's really different from selling online. And I've really, really, really enjoyed it. I think I'll apply to all of them again next year, but I just need a break now because it's been, it's been very full on. So I'm working, you know, full time Monday to Friday. And then also working full time Saturday and Sunday, like topping up uh, the curated makers in John Lewis. I have one more top up to do for them. And also market prep and selling and then coming back to work on a Monday um, and just doing loads, loads and loads of bits. So I've just finished. I'm really late on this month's Patreon box, but I just finished it. And we have it's just behind you. We have a greeting card. If I just focus, I have this sticker um which has like an easy peel thing so these will be in my patreon exclusive shop as soon as i get a chance to pop them in and we have this bookmark which is velvet laminated and it feels i wish you could feel it it feels amazing and then this little sticker of a gingerbread cookie to finish it off i also wanted to put a quick note on here in regards to the royal mail strikes um if you're not a small business, you probably wouldn't have heard much about it, but basically the postal system in the UK has gone to for lack of a better word. Uh, Royal Mail postal workers are striking due to terms and conditions in their contract and their pay. And we fully support the postal workers. However, it has caused significant, severe stress and delays on the postal system here in the UK. Even the other postal services and couriers have been struggling. Some things I sent out the end of November still haven't arrived to the destinations in the UK. And it has been, that's almost two weeks ago. Nothing now from today will arrive in time for Christmas. There's no guarantees. It might arrive, it might not. I'm thinking that things won't arrive in time for Christmas now. It's really stressful because this hasn't happened before. Obviously, there's always delays when it comes to Christmas, but this is this is insane. And I've had, uh, you know, me and every other business and small business in the UK right now, we've had emails upon emails upon emails of people asking where their orders are, people asking for refunds, people asking for replacements, um, some being really nice and patient and others not being so kind. But this is the situation at the moment. It is completely out of our hands. I've been speaking about it since October. But it's got so much worse, obviously, since the start of December. There's been more strike days and more people posting things and ordering things and Christmas gifts and whatnot. So, yeah, the postal system is under major, major, major stress. They are still working, obviously not on the strike days. Deliveries are still being made. But... Um, they are significantly delayed. So if you could please be kind and be patient. Items are arriving. I'm having post, everyone else is having post. They're just weeks behind. Um, obviously in some cases things are arriving okay, but in most cases things are not. And if you've ordered from some two different places and you've had the one already and not from the other place, it's not the business owner's fault. It is the postal system is a mess at the moment. Yeah, so I have to pack these ASAP. Um, I also have to edit this vlog. I hope it's been okay. I hope it's been festive and nice. I don't, I've been filming sporadically over the last month or so. And this week we have our small business Christmas. You comfy? This week we have our small business Christmas party, our first one ever. It is hosted by Kaylee Moore Designs and she has kindly put together a table for us um, at the Stables, I think it is in Cardiff. And I really, really can't wait for that because I haven't had a Christmas party in 
so many years. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone. So I may try and film bits of that. You say bye to the camera? Yeah. Uh, if you made it to the end of this video, uh, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you soon. Say bye, Mochi. Bye bye.